Hello and welcome to our post show for round one of the 2021 World Rallycross Championship from Barcelona. I'm joined by Oliver Eriksson and if you haven't seen the action yet, go and check it out on Red Bull TV. You can watch it again. History has been made today. Don't want to give too much away just yet, but Kevin Hansen got the job done. Listen, Oliver, I think we should actually take a little walk down towards Johan Christofferson's service area because... He's had a tough weekend. He did make it through to the final, but it started badly. He was disqualified in, in Q1. Now, he won it, but one of the data loggers, there's two data loggers in the car. There's the data logger that, that captures all the, the trace from the, the cut, what the car's doing, and then that, that transfers that to the FIA. And then it's just the, exactly the same data, but there's a bridging cable, and that wasn't connected, and he was disqualified. So he started out quite badly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, worst possible scenario. Uh, they got the... The decision after Q2, so he already had the grid position for Q2 settled. He could win that as well and also get the grid position for Q3. So uh, with that, he could also take all four qualifying wins. But obviously, the zero point in the first kind of held him back a bit. And he would have done because he did win Q2, Q3 and Q4. He made it through to the semi-finals. The pressure was on a little bit, but he did not get the job done. No, for sure. You know, he showed great pace, but the Hansen brothers, you know, being two, they could fight him off well. And uh, yeah, they got the job done. Uh, they showed great pace, uh, great racing craft as well. So it was tough for Johan. He really tried, you know, and uh, yeah, but he didn't get the job done. The Hansens did. I think no question that Johan Christofferson's pace was there to win this weekend. The car's not actually back yet. The action's just finished. It's just gone to Park Ferme for post-event scrutineering. But, you know, there was no question that the pace was there. And that'll give him confidence going into, into Sweden next. Yeah, for sure. As we talked about before, uh, being in a new team, you know, being able to put the laps in, uh, obviously have that bad start of the weekend, but still be in the fight as he was, you know, fighting for the win, really. Uh, showed great potential for, for all of the rest of the season, in my opinion. It was a fantastic final. I tell you what, as well, if you just spin the camera around, Kevin Abring, again, the car's not here. He made it into, into the final. But um, Oliver, what's, what was your, your, your kind of summarization of, um, of Kevin's weekend? Because pace, again, was there, but luck certainly wasn't. No, for sure. You know, it was a tough weekend for, for the whole crew, I think. Yeah, they had some, uh, some uh, technical issues, uh, some uh, wishbones, the broken stuff. Uh, he showed that he could be up there in fourth for positions. But yeah, in the long run, it didn't quite pay off for him. Yeah, Kevin finishing sixth in, uh, in the final. Should we go and take a wander back down to the Hansons? Yeah, for sure. I think we should do. Listen, unbelievable from there. And it's worth mentioning, yes, Kevin Hansen has won it. And we'll talk about the story of how it was done, but it's worth mentioning before we say anything else that it's actually the first time Kevin has won a World Rally Cross event by crossing the line first. He's won it before in the stewards' room, hasn't he? But yep. to, to do it this way meant so much to him. And you could see the emotion. Yeah, for sure. You know, always winning a world uh, world event is, is something special. And for Kevin, you know, he's been in the game for a, lo for a long time, you know, being close. But eventually now he finally got it. What would it mean to him sort of confidence wise? Because you see it so often in motorsport, don't you? Not just in, in rally cross or rallying or circuit racing. Once you've taken your first victory, they then just start to come, don't they? Yeah, for sure. And also being the first event of the season, it obviously opens up a whole different book yeah, for, for, a, for a successful season throughout the, the championship. So, yeah, for sure, he'll take this with him, you know, gather momentum, all of this. And, uh, you know, they had a hard fought with, with Johan, but they, they know now that they can really fight him off as well. Yeah, no question that, uh, that the Peugeot was quick. The Audi, though, we know it's going to be quick going into, going into Sweden. They've got a big fight on their hands. Christian Zabo played a big part in that final though didn't he because he was holding up uh, Timmy and, and, and Johan and it was a genius move to send Timmy on, on the joker lap when he did and likewise Kevin and he got away with it just planted it around the outside up the hill yeah yeah for sure it was it was a tactic and strategy final in my opinion you know Johan came out uh, turn one a bit uh, behind a joker directly uh, obviously they had a bit more pace than Shabo so kind of held him up a bit but they sent the Timmy directly to defend off Johan managed to do that uh, and then, yeah, they just try to get Kevin as well. But Kevin managed to take those few tents uh, during the, the joker lap and was able to just round them on the outside. And from there, you know, it was a hard fought to the finish, but he held them off. And it just goes to show that, you know, what we were discussing earlier in the weekend, that the spotter, so, so important, plays a vital role because it was the spotter who got this, got this win done. Yeah, for sure. You know, the whole team, Timmy being the first guy to have to defend for Johan uh, immediately. Uh, they saw that directly. Kevin didn't quite have the room to do that to Johan. So for sure it was a team win throughout. Getting the one-two in that way uh, was all the strategy and spotter-wise. Listen, do you think at the top of the hill, 
Timmy got on the brakes just a little bit early just to give his brother a little bit of room because they do look after each other, you know, and, and not only brothers but teammates and they play the team game. Yeah, they play the team game, but uh, in my personal view of it, I think Timmy didn't let off more than he needed, to be honest, you know. It's still a world championship they're fighting for. It was the win of the first event. Obviously, Team Me won it as, as well, uh, as Kevin as well. So, uh, yeah, I think Kevin just had the pace uh, through the outside there, uh, got it done, and Team Me just had to back off, you know. He was beaten a couple meters before, and yeah, there was no room for him, and obviously, might have been a little bit uh, brother love there, but uh, not more than needed, I think. Well, we can find out for sure. I caught up with Timmy and Kevin and their father, Kenneth Hansen, straight after the race win. Well, I think it's fair to say there's not a dry eye in the house down here at the Hansen team. Listen, Kevin, I'm coming to you first. Unbelievable drive. And yes, technically you've got a win under your belt, but it was done off the track. This one was done fair and square. You were the first man to cross the line, first guy to see the checkered flag, first proper victory. And we could see how much it meant to you from, from the emotion at the, uh, at, the, uh, at the end of the race. Well, you know, I worked on this since, since I was a full-time driver in the World Championship in 2017. And it's been a long time coming, you know, I've worked hard for it many, many years, and I never stopped believing it would arrive. And I felt, you know, going into the, going into the season, we had a great car. Uh, we had a great car, and I, I worked a lot on, on new things over the winter to try to improve, and those things have paid off. Um, and I mean, to begin the season with the 1-2 again here in Barcelona, and we have maximum points from the weekend, I think it puts the statement down that the Hansons are back. Absolutely, and I tell you what as well. When I was I was discussing this with with your dad, and we'll come to you in a minute, Kenneth. You see it in in Formula One. You see it in rallying. You see it in rallycross. When you take your first proper victory, something just flicks in your head. And I'm a little bit worried about Timmy because I know he's worried about you now because you're going to go out there with confidence. And probably it's got him a little bit rattled. I'd say, mate. Well, you know, we we work together all the time, and uh, without this, without him, and without Kenneth and Susan, everybody in this team, I wouldn't have got this win. You know, it's a, it's a team effort but we are going to continue to work hard uh, it's, this was one weekend of many and it could have gone you know anyway and I'm happy you know to take the longest draw this time but uh, it's a long long season and uh, Johan is super quick we have to work really really hard to be faster um, and let's see how it goes in Sweden. Timmy quick word on your brother before we talk about about your weekend because obviously one two great result but I know you're incredibly proud of him. Yeah absolutely uh, I mean once once we got out that first corner that we've done a lot of times coming out first and second. We had a plan, we stuck to it. And uh, then running first and second, I knew we had a good chance. Uh, Johan went to the Joker. And then on pure pace, to be honest, like if it came down to that, he would have probably won this weekend. So we had to do everything we could to, to cover him off. And I took the Joker the lap after. Uh, and in that moment when I came out, I saw I'm in front, Kevin is leading, and I'm leading of the ones who have Jokered. We will win, that was my feeling. So. Then I knew the job I had to do. Uh, I needed to stay calm and, and not do any mistakes, keep tight. And uh, in the end, the, wi the win went to Kevin, uh, but it's definitely a team teamwork. Uh, I mean, I, I am super proud of, of my brother. I'm super happy to see him cross the line first. And uh, I definitely feel that we have won today. We had a, a chat when we were doing our track guide for the Red Bull TV show. I did, I did finish that feature by saying, listen, if he's up the inside of you or you're alongside each other, will you make him work for it? Did you make him work for it? It looked to me like maybe you got, certainly you could have squeezed him a little bit more. If it had been Johan, would you have tried a little bit harder? If it would have been anyone else, it would have been kind of a different race. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, we, as I said, we won today. And, uh, and that's, that's all, all that matters. So I think in, in the long run, the more we're able to give to each other, the better we'll be as a pair. And this season will be very tough. Uh, as, as we've seen this weekend, Johan's been super fast. So we need to use every card and every trick up our sleeves to, to cling on to, to this championship fight uh, today or this weekend. To be honest, we were, we were lucky with his misfortune, put us a bit ahead, but that, that gave us the upper hand through the finals and, and we managed to keep it. Uh, I think we, we did the job today and I'm super happy. Kenneth, your two boys, they're a bit handy, aren't they, really? You must be incredibly proud of them. You're, um, you know, you've been around this sport for a long, long, long time. And to, to, to come here, take a one-two, and in particular, to see Kevin take his first proper win is, is very, very special, isn't it? 
Absolutely, it's uh, it's fantastic to be first and, and second. And uh, Timmy won here a couple of years ago, and then Kevin was second and last year also. So I mean, th this is a fantastic feeling. It can't be better. And this year, this uh, weekend, we struggled a little with the speed, and so Johan was super fast, as Timmy and Kevin said. But you know, it's not all about lap times. We we need to play the game, and I think in the semi-final, uh, finals, and the final, we did it a proper good job so it's a team job i think as well what we have seen this weekend strategy off track plays such a big part doesn't it it's not just natural pace behind the wheel which frankly everyone's got here in the paddock but it's also about using your brain having the right team around you it's been a really long weekend and last year we had only double ladders this year we you know it was the first time we had back to normal weekend and it's so different you know it's such more time to think and analyze and it's so much work going on on the side of the track compared to a double ladder so it was really you know good for us to have this weekend i think we could really you know maximize our experience that that this team has and especially Kenneth with the strategy and me and Timmy together in in the first corners and so on you know I think we we bring out more of each other on a weekend like this it's been a great start to the year fellas I'm absolutely delighted for you now the World Rally Cross Championship returns in four weeks time when we head to Sweden can this man do it again for now it's one two from the handsome boys